25 years old. My family bought a house in Malibu on the sand. Back then it was, I think it was only $25,000 or something. Mm -hmm. And um, my mom had it decorated Polynesian. And this was one of the decorations. It's a canoe. Um, and the guy who decorated it for us put it up into the ceiling and there were like lobsters and lights hanging out. Oh yeah. And it was beautiful. And I think it would, that beach house is what started my whole love of the Polynesian thing and the, oh, and yeah. the designs and of woodworking and things like that. Yeah. When I brought this home, when we moved out of the house five years later, this went from my mom's house to my house's. And I realized this is actually really koa, which oh is gosh. only only grown in Hawaii. Yes. So this canoe could be 100, 200 years old. I don't know. It's uh, a little six foot koa canoe. And, wonderful. Um, uh, probably made for a, some child. lagoon somewhere or a child. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I do build surfboards, but they're mainly all for um, for wall hanging. Yes. So I've built this. Uh, almost Beautiful. everything you see here, I've got another oh, one in here. Wow. Okay. Yes. It and looks so authentic. Kind of hybrids of Hawaiian surfboards pre pre white man, like that one is a Hawaiian surfboard pre white man. Really? In wow. real life, that would be about twelve or sixteen feet long. But oh, I've scaled okay. Scaled it down. Uh huh. And made it so that it's uh, wall hangable. Okay. Oh, your guitars. What have we got here? We have David Crosby gave me this one. Woohoo! This is the second Martin that he gave me. This is actually uh, his signature model, D18 Martin. Wow. This is number three out of 250. Wow. The first one went to his son, James. Second one went to Graham Nash. I got number three. Wow. I mean, Michael, the other, the, my cousin who's in our band, Venice, also, he got number four from David. Really? Fantastic. Yeah, Amazing. He, and then some other guitarists. He just loves with. you guys and you love yeah, working with him, don't a, you? He's a great, different guy. I love him. I know. He's amazing. This is, I, I toured yeah. with uh, Roger Waters, yes. who was in Pink Floyd. And of course, The Wall is one of the best selling albums of all time. Yes. And I was one of the vocalists yes. for Roger Waters yes. uh, in his touring band. Yes. And we did it for four years wow. around the world. Wow. Unbelievable. Yes. Um, here's some of the dates. You can see we did North America twice. So you said four years? Almost four years. 2010 God. to 2000 through third, uh, 2013. Wow. We did oh, Australia. You guys up here. That's Venice. That's our band Venice. Yeah. We've been doing it since I joined the band in 1980. I'm the new guy. I'm really interested in this cart right here of all these surfboards. Can oh, I just, I have that? all these old boxes and when I make my little surfboards, I make these and sell them. Usually I just give them away. Really? Um, but they're all real shapes. Uh-huh. Uh, look at this uh, fin. That's so cool. That is so <laughs> cool. I fall in love with every board that I make. It's so cool. Um, because they're really replicas of the original yeah. board and made to Some scale. Some of them, many of them. Oh, this is a classic old Dewey Weber. Yes, it this is. This actual board is at Dive and Surf, the real one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So cool. They look like they're oh, made out of fiberglass. Uh, these are from when they fiberglass boards. Yes. They have the rooms with the racks set up for yes. the boards. Yes. And as they squeegee the resin out, the resin falls on the ground. Right. Now they put tar paper on the ground um, and it builds up and it builds up all different colors whatever surfboards they're making those colors are building up building up and it gets to be about two or three inches thick wow they break it up throw it away <gasps> well some jewelers thought wait a minute this stuff is classic like look at that that's gorgeous look at it through the sun it's really cool. oh yeah it's so pretty so a friend of mine they actually call it surfite uh -huh. from oh, the jewelers no kidding so a friend of mine is a jeweler and she got some and she didn't know how to cut it and she asked me to help her cut it. Oh. A friend of mine and I were uh -huh. So we figured out that woodworking tools work with this resin because it's just Does? soft enough. Oh. And so I started thinking, oh, well, of course, I'm going to make some boards. Uh -huh. So I did that. Actually, one of these, I don't have it with Those me. Those are awesome. One of them has a sunflower seed in, in it <laughs> that this glass are probably just going <laughs> to... But it's really cool stuff. It is. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Oh, wow. Look at that. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, really, really good. Very cool. Very cool. And then I see down here is your, are your sisters. My sisters are the Lennon sisters. Yes. And they were famous, very famous in the 50s and 60s, yes. especially because they were on TV every Saturday with Lawrence Walk. I watched them every Saturday. So did I. And of course, I was lucky enough to go to school with them, too. Yes, you did. And they even had their own paper doll cutouts. Oh, my God. That's so and great. And comic books. Oh, wonderful. Really Look cool. at them. Look at them. Oh, And they did it. so well one year, we actually bought the beach house. Oh, so, you did? Yeah. That's amazing. So that and that was the first place I ever rode a surfboard. It was? Uh, right in front of, there's a reef in front of our little house. All right, now we got the big boy here. That is a copy of a Jerry Lopez lightning bolt. Wow. And it's made out of, it could be 1,200 year old redwood. Wow. Um, and I shaped that a few months ago, just got it glassed. How in the world do you do that inlay with the wood? It's so um, amazing. Just years of woodworking. I've, uh -huh. I've built furniture my whole life. Yes. Besides my music. Yes. And um, when I did that Roger Waters tour, Yes. I came back and I had made enough money to kind of not retire, but semi retire. Right. So I don't have customers now. Yes. <laughs> and so I started doing a lot of stuff that's for myself. Wonderful. And that's wow. When I started the small boards, the little, the little yeah. ones. Yeah. Here we have the little ones. Oh. The minis, I call them, the mini surfboards. Yeah. I love them so much. Oh my gosh. They're and, amazing. And I've also made the bigger ones that you've seen some of the ones on the wall. Right, I see one behind it here. Yeah, this one here is a copy of a, like 19, maybe 1910, 1920. Um, that's called the Pacific New uh, Pacific Homes. Nice. Pacific Systems Homes. Really? And I just love the design on it. Oh wood. my gosh, look at the woodwork on that. That's incredible yeah, too. Yeah, that was a bit of work. I bet. Yeah. And then this is a copy of a great Noel. Oh, uh, really? Thing. He has. What? Makes, uh, it goes he has around one that's like ten feet tall. It's so beautiful. Oh, he you, and his son Jed. You made one for him, or this is just the board no, this that was, this was for me. This was for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <coughs> and then I see a really cool one up there. Yeah, that's a uh, um, uh, Wayne Miata was a glasser shaper from the '60s, '70s. Well, all the way through. He passed away. Ten oh, years ago about. Yes. But he was Japanese and he did some uh, Japanese artwork on his boards. He sure did. And, that's uh, magnificent. So that's just a copy of one of his designs. I see the endless summer here. Boy, that brings back memories. Oh, yeah. Wow. You knew those guys. Robert August, probably. And Not personally. Mike Hinson? I just knew who they were. I was yeah. so much younger, you know. I was like 16, 17. No, but they were. Yeah, they, I knew. They weren't that much. They were probably pretty yeah, young think. too then. Look at this. I love the top of cloth. And what is this guitar right here? Wow. That is. Look at that thing. That is a Dobro. It's a <laughs> uh, Gibson. A Gibson. And Gibson gave Michael. Once again, Michael's my cousin. The other yeah, guitarist in our Yeah. Band. They gave us two of these. And that one, they, one of them was the metal one, which is the classic Hawaiian uh, lap steel guitar. Not lap steel, uh, Dobro. Yeah. And uh, they gave us one wood one, but it's got, this is called a resonator. It makes them, I'll play it for you. Okay. Makes it louder. Uh -huh. And they gave us a wood one and this one. And as soon as I saw this, because look at this shark. What? Look at the etching. Oh my god. Diamond head. Diamond head. Palm trees. I've never seen a guitar like that. Whoa. And so as soon as I saw this, I said, Michael, because he's he's our main guitar player. Yeah. He always gets the good stuff. Yeah. I said, that is mine. Yeah. <laughs> so. Do you, is my, that is this that is a, my favorite guitar. It is. I bought this from Tommy Lennon. You know Tommy. Tommy Lennon. Yes, I yeah. do. He's yeah, a, a 19, all these linens are so talented. That's a 1957 Gibson. It's just so beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. And I've got a lot of my, our great uncle came from Germany. He, he actually was in World War One, And he came here to find his sister who was my grandmother. Wow. And he settled in Ojai. And he yes. became this peace activist throughout the 30s in wow. Ojai. And then World War Two hit. And mm -hmm. 
a lot of weird pol- political things happened because he had a very strong German accent. People uh, thought he might have been oh, in cahoots with German. It was, oh, it was no. a weird thing. Yeah. But he was a master woodcarver. Oh, and really? And I've inherited some of his carvings and some of his tools. And some of his talent. Which, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I believe here's so. here's some of his stuff. He settled in Ojai Valley. He had a 17-acre apricot ranch. And here's, here's a oh, beautiful... Oh, that's magnificent. What is that? It's like a cameo. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't it? Yeah, it is a cameo. If it was smaller, it could be a necklace. And then he did this okay, too. Wait. It was a dashboard that I remember him telling me that someone ordered it and didn't pick it up. Oh, how sad. But very, very, very intricate. Very intricate. Beautiful. Intricate work oh, there. Oh, these? We're coming into dust territory. No, here. don't worry. Oh, he those, did these. He did beautiful? those? Yeah. Oh, they're magnificent. Wow. I love those so much. Beautiful. Well, I just realized it kind of goes with the Japanese theme. Here. It does. <laughs> it, you didn't do that, that No, I didn't even oh. think of it. <laughs> Look at this little scene here. Gotta oh, yeah. I made that. these little guys for the truck. Oh, my gosh. That's so Oh, perfect. look at this. This even has a fin of That's stringer. That's your baby. That's the tiniest <laughs> one. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I have like it. some of these weird little, little boards. Windows. Oh my gosh. You There's have another one here. So many boards Twin everywhere. Fin. Yes, boards over here. Now, this looks like your surfboard. That is a board I got here in town in a garage sale. Was... Plastic, fantastic. Yeah, I remember those? Yeah, fantastic. Oh, look at this. Here's another one. David Noy, the nose writer. Nice. That that's, that, oh, that's your newest one? One of them. Beautiful. And then I made, here's another gun. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see that. And I have enough redwood from this old redwood growth wood. I think I'm going to make a gun like that out of the redwood, too. Yeah, a redwood gun would be great. Wow. I'm really kind of obsessed with this Japanese one. <laughs> So cool. I love all yeah, your cool. artwork too. So much this beautiful is the one, art. This yeah. is the one that Mike doesn't know yet, but this is his. Oh my I, It's kind of like yours. It is. So oh, I Mike's going to love and that. And I had this, but then all of a sudden I realized, oh my gosh, it's got the same kind of stripes. Yeah. Same and, everything. Yeah, so like I mine. It's, it's like yeah. a, a, a sun to mine. So we'll mine. surprise him yes. with that later. Yes, that was so nice when you surprised me with that yeah, i remember cool. i re well because i used to surf with pete peterson so i was a tandem surfer and so you were so kind you made a board kind i was when i found out who you were i was so like whoa that to me the history of surfing to me it's it's one of my passions so and i knew i yeah. used to cook yeah for pete peterson your tandem you did on santa monica pier because he had his place out there when I was a cook. Yes. At Al's Kitchen. You did. And a bunch of my surfing friends and I, when we were 18, 19. Yeah. We used to go there and eat all the time. And the manager came up and said, you guys are here all the time. If you want to work here, you'll have half off when you're here. No, half off when you're not working. Right. And it's free when you're here. And we all, oh. okay. Oh, yeah. And about eight, six or eight of us and throughout a few I years. I didn't maybe know 10 or that. Us, and we worked out on Santa Monica Pier. It's not there anymore. Al's Kitchen. Wonderful place. Oh my God! The whole other story. And we saved Santa in. Monica Pier. We we. I know you did. Part of that. I but bet. anyway, Pete at the time, Pete Peterson had his shop up towards the end of the pier. Right. Before eighty three, because eighty three it, it the storms it broke came, off and in part the storm. of his stuff he lost a lot of it. Sadly. Um, but he would come in and I'd cook for him. And I, I didn't know who he was at that time. And then the manager said, do you know who he is? Uh -huh. I go, no. He goes, that's Pete Peterson. He was the first <laughs> California surf champion. Right. You know, in the 30s. The, yeah. And yeah. I was, so then I then I got to know him just a little bit. Right. But always followed and, and, and studied some of his surfboards that he had made. Yeah. The older ones. Yeah. I, yeah, I have some. Uh, oh, you do? Yeah. Some oh, yeah. Because he did surf for he such a like, long time. Oh, Peter, Pete Peterson. Wow, that's so perfect. But um, I was so enamored by his stuff. Yeah. And then when I met you and you said that, I was almost, I was breathless. I really was. I was oh, so stoked. Oh, yes. And then, so 
I brought this for gonna hold this Pat up. today, just so you see what tandem surfing is, because oh, I don't so even beautiful. think people know what it is. But this is that's uh, Pete and art. Sharon. Pete and me and Pete, and and this is a little artwork oh. by Max Hall. He did this digital. So cool! Isn't it fabulous? It's so. Uh, I no, love it. Is. He's a that, young man. He's only name, like 17 right now. Wonderful artist. Art, I can't think of it. It, it looks, uh, it, it's just so current because it's digital graphic I, I'm art. i make my own frame for it. It's going to be great. And boy, was those fun times for me. So I'm so glad yeah. you knew Pete too. Just barely, you know, a little uh -huh. bit. But through you now, I've gotten to know his daughter, Lisa. Yes. Grand, Grand, his, Grand, well, his, his granddaughter. His granddaughter, Elsa. Um, Elsa. And they are sweet women, Aren't they? girls, too. Aren't yeah. they? Unbelievable. And you know who's really super nice is uh, her husband, Joel Knudsen. I haven't met him. Oh, he's a wonderful guy. Yeah, yeah. wonderful man. And, of course, uh, she serves San Onofre. Every summer she's every there. Every summer. Day, yeah. Have you gone down there to see her? Uh, I haven't seen her down there, no. Oh, yeah. She, she just left. She just left. Oh, she's been back to Oregon? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She just left, yeah. And she stays with the... the Bangs, bunnies, the the bangs. Oh, you mean in yeah, San Onofre? I don't know. It fluctuates. There's there's a she does it famous all. like skateboard surfing. Guy. Oh, I think probably. she stays at his at his house or something. With her, probably with his wife. that makes sense. Yeah. Doesn't that make sense? It does make sense. I think <laughs> every year she's there. She's amazing. Very talented, like her father. I yeah. mean, all of them are really good in sports. Even uh, Elsa was a very good uh, skier. Snow skier. Well, some of the pictures of her longboarding are amazing. Oh, she's good. Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. amazing. So we were lucky to grow up in those times, huh? Yeah. Early days of surfing. Absolutely. Surfing USA. Yeah, I the, think I started in 64. Did you? 64 or 65. Well, that's when I was surfing with Pete. Yeah. 64 and 65. Well, I, th I remember the magazines like Surfing Illustrated and, and uh, you were in those. Yeah, I might some even of them. have a couple still. I have some, a whole stack of old magazines downstairs. You do, don't you yeah. love them? And you know, it's sad because you know that's an era that's gone before us now too. Because Surfer magazine just stopped now. I know. Isn't that incredible? Johnson's creation, yeah. Incredible. Huh? And look at here's okay. Look, I'm look coming. I'm coming. We're on the tour. What have I got there? My collection of surfers' journals, and then of course oh, I, I have an extensive wow. surf collection of uh, you know surf, surfing uh, yeah. literature. Yeah, and you got a surf wolf up there. <laughs> it's a Martin, actually. Oh, a Martin, a Martin. But here's something cool. What um, you got there? This is a great book that I've used for sur for for matching surfboards and things. Oh, okay. And so I had it about a year. Uh -huh. I've always collected memorabilia uh -huh. and stuff. Uh -huh. I had this book for about a year. It was a very expensive book, but it, it's got, like, look at this, Sharon. It's just got okay. beautiful, uh, all the different eras of surfboards. Like, like I got some designs from this, as, wow. as you can see. And um, there's a lot of Pete Peterson stuff in here, too. Oh, wow. Well, you know, I forgot to tell everyone that's listening that you you made a surfboard for me i guess i told them but i didn't tell them how you delivered it to me how did i deliver it? well I, I didn't know you were actually bringing it but you delivered it in a sock at one of your concerts oh <laughs> <laughs> that's funny because uh, it's perfect because it, i know <laughs> a used sock an old dirty sock <laughs> under I do that for all my friends I know. At, at, at the beach. And so I know. And, go, what and you sock? gave it to me, and I'm like, what in the world oh, is so this? <laughs> I remember now at the coach house. Yeah. Oh, look so, at these. So this oh book God. has so much stuff. And, what and a great book. I get book. designs for fins for my little boards. and Amazing. So, like I said, I've collected for years and years. Yeah. So I didn't even ever get to the end of this book. And all of a sudden, I'm going, oh, look at all this stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All of a sudden, <gasps> this I had collected years ago. Oh, and look. look. What in the world? The Santa Monica Paddle Club. Isn't that cool? It's from Santa Monica Canyon. That is absolutely The Uplifters. Cool. Remember Uplifters Ranch? Uplifters I Club do. up there? I It sounds... Yeah. yeah. I don't think I've ever been there. Like Rustic Canyon up, up Rustic into there. Rustic Canyon. Wonderful. So I have this, which is really cool. And then, look at this. 
That was, oh my gosh, what? What? Now I gotta look at the name of the book again. Okay, it's real. This cool. is The Vintage Surfboards and Collectibles, The Ultimate Guide to. Wow, what a book. Yeah. So this is a hunt this book was published in I think I think nineteen hundred. It's like a hundred years 1900. old. Nineteen hundred. Wow. Did 120 you twenty years old. Oh, it's a great story. And apparently it's a classic story of uh well, as it says. A romance of pagan Hawaii. <laughs> it's a really good story. And it's very so women good. empowering because it is? the woman is the better surfer. And oh. She's the champion and oh. beats the other well, guy. Of course. They try to come and steal yeah. her because she's so good. She, really? She's a princess and they take her, but she goes there and kicks their ass. So it's really, really, it's, really a, it's actually about surfing then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's wow. a great story. That's wonderful. Here, here's something too. Oh, I see. Okay. Signed by Dick Metz. No way. The the guy, the man. He, uh, uh, heritage, surf surfing heritage. heritage. Surfing heritage. Yep. Yeah. Dick Metz. Now, this is a Tom Blake. Did you know Tom Blake? I do know Tom Blake, yeah. but I was pretty young. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, he, he designed this hollow surfboard. Uh huh. They found, and he did it from the 1930s to the, almost the 50s. Uh huh. Um, and he, he was a lifeguard also, one of the original right, lifeguards. Right, right. That's how I know him, really. That's how I know him. He came from like Detroit, moved to Hawaii. <laughs> he told Duke Hanamoku, he met him because Duke was on a tour uh -huh. of his films of him winning his gold medals and things. Oh, yeah. Tom Blake met him and said, I'm coming to Hawaii to come surf with you. And he what? did. And he ended up being one of the, bit, the most um, original, what? you know, uh -huh. inventors and things. Yeah. So he invented this. It's a hollow surfboard. Okay. They call kook boxes now. Oh. Um, and they found this one from the 30s, and this is the top of the line one with different mahogany. Yeah, pilots. yeah, yeah. Brand new in its box, just just in the last 10 years. Get and out. And they say it's worth thirty-five thousand oh. dollars. But the reason I'm telling you this is because okay. I have one. You have one? Yeah. Here's a Tom Blake. No, it's, Come it's not on. the top of the line one, and it's really oh, it's it's way up there. Yeah. Oh, no wonder I didn't see it. You know what? This it is. It looks like you could really paddle on that. This is from well, they used it. it they these yeah. did the Catalina Channel, and this this one's probably from 1948. So this is the end That's of the line. Amazing. Of the real Tom Blake's, and this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Don't look at the cobwebs. Uh huh. Uh, I don't care. This one I made yeah? before I collected this. Oh, it's, I made this, it's, and it's made it's like that. Like that one but it's in the book, a different scale. Yeah, it's like the one in the book. Yeah. So I was wow. really, I, I love the design. He actually, when, when he made his design, uh -huh. Uh -huh. there used to be a magazine called Popular Mechanics. Yes, I remember and that. And he donated maybe. it to Popular Mechanics and said, "Print this. Let anyone that wants to." use this design and all across the United States lifeguards for lakes for really? and of course the ocean uh, did use this design for uh, how generous of Tom yeah. Blake right yeah great guy yeah great guy <laughs> didn't realize this is gonna be a history of surfing I know it is <laughs> it is oh look at this board this looks like your Jacobs Jacobs like 422 you, from the 60s you surf on that huh I used to yeah it's beautiful I love the long boards yeah this is an old one from Culver City. Beautiful. I restored this one. Oh, you restored it's it? It's a Moselle. Oh. Just a small time maker in the in Culver City. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, you're so talented. Oh look, we've got more little surfboards here. These are my uh <laughs> Jesus Christ, Christ hanging ten. Jesus is hanging ten. I was in Amsterdam. My band plays my band plays there quite a bit. Uh huh. I actually live in Amsterdam probably a month out of every year until yeah probably. yeah um, I was 15 years ago I was in this little antiques now everything's kind of upscale there they've turned all these cool old streets with yeah old, yeah great antique stores and and craftsmen right everything now is new boots and glass oh. it's really too bad yeah but this was still when 15 years ago mm. walk into this furniture old European furniture yeah and I walk up to this desk and I just opened up, to, I wanted to see how the construction was on the drawer, and he was in there. Oh! Without, a, without the cross. Just there. Without the cross, uh, he was bronze. 
He's gorgeous. And so I saw him out. Oh, that guy's got to hang 10 soon. <laughs> so <laughs> I asked brilliant. the guy, this guy comes from behind. He's working on something. And, he, uh -huh. and I said, how much for this? He goes, what is it? <laughs> and I said, well, it's God. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, he goes, I didn't even know that was there. He uh -huh. goes, will you give me 15 guilders, which at the time was only half, half a, like a dollar. Oh, my so God. For like seven bucks or eight bucks. Wow. Yeah. And, and then you I got know, this in that, Rio. I love it. And I thought, he's got to hang. He's got to hang He's got to hang too. too. <laughs> you know. This guy's even got a wave. Very. Coming from Catholic background does things to your mind. You know what I mean? Well, I'm, yeah. I'm totally out of that now. But. I know, but... We're already, we're already indoctrinated pretty good. I think this is fabulous. Wonderful. Yeah, cool stuff. Thank you for the big tour. I wonder if he's ready for you to come out and... Oh, and these tables. Oh, I was going to ask you about your tables. These tables They're are right made, in front of me. I have three here that I collected. A friend of mine, Heidi... My, yeah. We were boyfriend and girlfriend. We were 18 years old. Yeah. She's a designer, and I've done work for her for the last 50 years. And um, 50, 40 years? 40. Yeah. 50 years, yeah. And she gave me these. She had these. Really? And she didn't know where she collected them. I don't think she remembered. Beautiful. But she, and she knew I loved them, so I got those. Yeah. And then one day, about 10 years, maybe five years ago, yeah. years ago, yeah. I was oh. walking my dog up the street. Yeah, yeah. And... I, the palm trees had all been a huge windstorm and I saw the palm fronds on the ground and I went those are what they make these these tables from oh you're kidding so that was the first one I made and and you actually made this yeah. oh this is incredible but now I make a wow. this palm tree in my front yard that I planted yeah there. yeah <laughs> I planted that palm tree 22 years ago oh there it is yeah when it was only about three feet tall yeah and now I use those, and you see this, this piece. Yes, I do. That's like where the fan comes out, and no you just cut kidding. it off. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then this, yeah, upside down, is where it goes up into the tree, and then the fan's here. What? That's and amazing. And so all of this, right? You know, you can see where this uh -huh. is. Just, these are cut from from that. Wow. And then I inla I make the tops. You from are so red creative, red. and those are so impressive. I've sold impressive. a bunch of those. Oh, I'm sure everybody wants those so much. And I built They're my mantle. Classic. Oh, your mantle is amazing. That was the first time I ever hand carved anything. And I I oh. did use some of Uncle Mox's carving tools, which oh, you did? I try to use whenever I can just to keep keep the uh, keep them the energy going. Oh, what a beautiful idea. This is magnificent. Wow. By the way, I love your house. It's just wonderful. I love it. It's so good.